good? What's the motherfucking deal, YouTube? This your boy Lazarian. Please comment, like, and subscribe on this video. Thank you guys for always supporting the channel and being in the live stream. Let's get right into it. Uh, the Houston Rockets with another win, their fourth straight win. Uh, the Houston Rockets win, beat the New Orleans Pelicans 108 to 104. Uh, a, a, a great game by both teams, a hard fought game, like I say, by both teams. Like I say, uh, the Rockets are starting to find their rhythm. They're starting to find their stride. Uh, they're starting to learn how to win and close out games. Uh, the end of the game got a look uh, kind of scary at the end of the game uh, with Eric Gordon going out, going out with a knee injury. He was killing them in the fourth quarter. He was missed the fourth quarter in this game. Um, like I say, we got to see what's his status on Monday on New Year's Day uh, when we go against the Memphis Grizzlies. That will be an early start at 6 o'clock, so make sure y'all tune in to that game as the Rockets go for their fifth straight win. You're starting to see the Rockets put wins together. Uh, you start to see the same Rockets team. If they're not, if they're struggling on offense, they do it on defense, and they did that tonight. I thought the Rockets did a heck of a job on Anthony Davis, double teaming Anthony Davis, taking him out of the game. Uh, Julius Randle was very good for the uh, Pelicans. Tim Frazier, who's a bum, um, hits a couple of big threes. He was wide open. You're supposed to hit those. You're supposed to hit those threes when you're wide open. Uh, each one more. Uh, every time he plays uh, the Rockets. He ends up going off. He gets in the paint every single time. I don't understand that. But like I say, Drew Holiday starting to come into it his own in the third quarter, in the fourth quarter. He hit some big layups. Like I say, if you're New Orleans, if you're the New Orleans Pelicans, like I say, on that possession when you were down by at least two, when you, I believe you were down 100 to, uh, you were down 100, down by eight, 100 to 92. Uh, you had uh, two open threes. Two guys passed up open threes. Anthony Davis passed up an open three. And Drew Holiday passed up an open three, which is uh result the ball. He tried to throw an alley to uh he tried to throw the ball to Julius Randle inside. He had three people around him and they end up getting stripped. One of those two guys has to take those threes, take them threes. That was a big part in the game. And the play that uh jump that uh James Harden got bailed on at uh like I say, uh it was a foul call uh when him and Drew Holiday bumped knees with each other. Uh, that was not a foul, so the Rockets got the Rockets got bailed out on that play. But the very next possession, New Orleans and Drew Holiday, what the hell you guys jumping up and down for? Uh, that was a, clearly a foul. He down the gate, he got down man a hug, James Harden a hug, and it ended up in free throws. Like I say, at the Pelicans, you can see them at the end of the game start to make adjustments. We take the ball out of James Harden hand, make someone make a three, make someone help beat us, make someone make shots. The Rockets' last bucket in the fourth quarter came on the six-minute mark, I believe. The rest of them was free throws. When James, when teams, you're gonna start seeing that, guys. Teams are gonna start taking the ball out of James Harden's hands and making other guys make shots. The Rockets couldn't do that the last six minutes, but the Rockets got a lot of empty calls. Clint Capella has to learn how to finish above the rim. This guy do not know how to finish above the rim. He has to learn how to do that. P.J. Tucker uh, has to learn how to make open threes when the game is on the line. But he played some great defense tonight. How about Daniel House? Like I say, I'm a big Daniel House fan right now. The guy's been a huge addition, huge on defense. How about the play and the inbounds play? He uh, he uh, switches. He switches uh, with P.J. Tucker. He gets his hand on the ball. The ball ends up hitting Anthony Davis' foot. How about the lean back shot out of bounds? That was a big play as well. Eric Gordon was missed the fourth quarter. Uh, Eric Gordon drove the ball. And, uh, Ju I mean, Jaleel Okafor bumps him. I don't know how Eric Gordon saw the basket. Eric Gordon uh, made made some key shots, key tough two tough layups. And the top of the key three was really big in the game. But James Harden, the bad man that he is, James Harden, like I said, stepped up time and time again. Another 40-point game. Austin Rivers was big in this game. The nice little layup. Drive to the basket on each one more. He hits a couple of big threes in this game. I ever since like Austin Rivers. I, I know it's three games, but the guy is a is an extra lift. Now that Chris Paul is hurt, he's an extra lift. He's an extra ball handler. Uh, like I say, I really like uh what Austin Rivers is doing, but I still think he's a D plus player. I really like the way like the the strides and the direction these this Rockets team going in into. The Rockets, one thing the Rockets got to do, they got to prepare for what teams, uh, like I say, the teams are going to try to double-team James Harden and take him out of the game. 
and not let him impact the game and drive to the basket. So then you gotta start. They got guys gotta start watching that. Once he allowed to go one on one and get a big man switched on him, and you might well say good night. It's all over for you. But once team get into playing a zone on James Harden, stop him from getting to the bucket. Other guys gotta make shots. Joe Green made some big threes in his game. Played some awesome defense. But I was very impressed. And like I say, that we closed out this game tonight. Like I say, our last six, the six minutes mark was the last basket. Like I said, the Rockets got to learn how to finish games. Some and other people have to learn how to uh, step up and make plays when James Harden, when the ball is taken out of James Harden's hand. James Harden can't carry the team every single night. So like I say, it was a great effort by the Houston Rockets again. The Rockets go to uh 15, 20 and 15. They're getting they're they're falling they they're making strides. They're uh getting better and better by each game. Defense is getting better and better. Offense uh the offense was is getting better and better. Clint Capella needs to learn how to finish above the rim and stuff like that. James Harden got to quit the silly turnovers. He got to quit that. But other than that, I like the way Daniel House are playing. I like the way Austin Rivers is playing. And for New Orleans, they're 16 and 21. Uh Everybody, when when they whooped our ass on opening night, like I say, everybody, oh, the Rockets got their ass whooped. The Rockets, what's wrong with this Rockets? When I was never sold on New Orleans. Even when they were 5-0, I was never sold. Like I argue with guys all the time. I was like, why do you got guys got New Orleans in the playoff hunt? But I say, they because, of every, I hear a lot of people say because they beat Portland in the first round. Who can't beat Portland in the first round? Uh, like I say, um... Uh, like I say, this is another team. They're not good. They don't have nothing sent around Anthony Davis besides Randall and Holiday. So, like I say, Anthony Davis is ready to get the hell up out of there. He was shut down tonight. Uh, like I say, I would never sold on New Orleans after that high start they got. Uh, I can't depend on each one more. I can't depend on Solomon Hill, Frank Jackson, uh, Chuck Diallo. I can't M Miritich. I can't depend on those guys to carry. And Anthony Davis to carry this team for a full season. Now that you don't got DeMarcus Cousins, now that you don't got Rondo, I can't just trust it. The New Orleans Pelicans is going in the wrong direction. The Rockets going in the right direction right now. The Rockets are hot. They're, four, they're um, on a four-game winning streak. And great job by the Houston Rockets. Uh, let's get into the team stats. Uh, 41 out of 92 uh, for the New Orleans Pelicans. 44%. 9 out of um, 28. 32%. That's just atrocious from three. Uh, uh, 13 out of uh, 17, uh, 76% from the free throw line, 45 rebounds, uh, offensive rebounds, 8, defensive rebounds, 37, uh, assists, 25, uh, steals is uh, 7, 5 blocks, 15 turnovers, uh, points off turnovers, 15, fast break points, 22, 56 points in the paint. They, they, they mostly did they damage in the paint. The Rockets, 35 out of 81, uh, 43%, 16 threes. 40, 16 out of 46, 34 uh, percent. 22 out of uh, 28, uh, 78 percent. 39 rebounds, offensive rebounds, 8. Uh, 31 uh, defensive rebounds, 21 assists, uh, 9 steals, uh, 7 blocks. Real big, good job in the paint by the Houston Rockets. 12 turnovers. Knowing the turnovers, that means you get more possessions. Um, Points off turnover 17, fast break points four, uh, points in the paint 32. And James Harden hit a, hit another cold blooded three in the corner, a step back three, I believe over Drew Holiday. But when Daniel House hits that three, uh, I knew the Rockets were gonna win that game. I knew the Rockets were gonna close this game, a uh, lean back three. Daniel House has been very very good for the Houston Rockets, and he's earned every minute in that he got uh, for the Houston Rockets. And Austin Rivers has been a huge help. Uh, P.J. Tucker, 5 on uh, 1 and uh, 7. He's got to improve. He's got to hit big shots in big game situations. 1 for 9. That's not going to cut it. Daniel House, 15, 1 and 4. 3 for 5 from the 3-point uh, line, 32 minutes. Clint Capella, uh, 6, 1 and 7. I give him a pass on that, but he got to learn how to finish up under the rim. He got to learn how to finish. And stop bringing the ball down and letting guys strip him. He got to stop that. 33 minutes. James Harden, 41, 6 and 9. Um, 37 minutes. Eric Gordon, before he got hurt his knee, he was missed the fourth quarter. Uh, <coughs> 21 points, uh, three assists, two rebounds, 27 minutes. Nene was very big. His defense was very big on Anthony Davis. Uh, five points, 
two assists, three rebounds, 15 minutes. Austin Rivers, 10, uh, seven assists, and five rebounds. Very good game by Austin Rivers. Been very impressed by him, 37 minutes. Gerald Green, five uh, and, and two. Uh, very impressed by uh, Austin Rivers' play tonight. Anthony Davis, 22, 1 and 11, 39 minutes. Julius Randle, 23, 4 and 11, 40 minutes. Solomon Hill, 2, uh, 2 and uh, 1, um, 19 minutes. Drew Holiday, 20, 20 points, 9, re 9 assists, and 6 rebounds, uh, 42 minutes. Uh, Etuan Moore, 21, 1 and 7, and uh, 37 minutes. Uh, Jaleel Okafor, set, um, 2, 1 and 1. Uh, Frank Jackson, no points. Tim Frazier, 7, 5, and 6, 21 minutes. Uh, Ian Clark, 7, uh, 2, and 1, 20 minutes. That's the end of the video, guys. Give me a comment, like, and subscribe on this video of what you think about the Rockets' victory. The Rockets get a huge win on the road, 108 to 104. Uh, Rockets go to 20 and 15. The Warriors Pelicans go to 16 and uh, 21. The Rockets are going into the right direction. The Pelicans are, are backing up and reversing, going into the wrong direction. The Rockets are starting to find their stride. They're starting to get better every night as a team. Uh, like I said, I like what I'm seeing for my, for my team. I like what I'm seeing for the Houston Rockets. And I told you guys, I've been a diehard Rockets fan since 1994, 95, the championship years. I've always been a Rockets fan, always been a Texas fan, always been an Astros fan, diehard Houston fan for life. The Rockets are getting better, and they're starting to hit their stride. I'm not going to say we're back yet. i got to still see more improvement. we got to still improve on a lot of things, um, making big shots in big situations. When James Harden uh, has to come off the ball, other guys got to make plays. Uh, but like I say, the defense was there uh, tonight. Daniel House was very good tonight on in the fourth quarter. Eric Gordon was good. We got to see his status on Monday. Comment, like, and subscribe on this video. Thank you, guys. I'm out. Peace. Four in a row. Let's go, Rockets.